other, others how they did it. So we joined forces with some American funds, European funds, and others, and we created 10 funds, 10 small funds, in order to supply more capital to small companies, and in order to uh, give help to small companies. 10 years after we started, there were 60 venture capital funds in Israel. All these funds raised during these 10 years about $15 billion. There was a merger and acquisition in the movement that started also in the mid-90s, of the 90s, which in 10 years was about uh, $20, $25 billion. And also companies raised money in asset stockers mainly, but in other stock exchanges as well, about $6, $7 billion. So altogether, the move that the government took at the beginning of the 90s was a catalyst. It was not happened only because the government did it, but it was a catalyst for, for a process that ended 10 years after with, I can call it, kind of a turnover of 50, 50 billion dollars. Now the question if this can be uh, replicated or what can we learn from this uh, kind of a success? Because it was a success. And first I have to tell you that it was not just isolated move. The Israeli uh, government started with the technology development 20 years before that by a very strategic decision that the only way that we can grow uh, the only way that we can be competitive is through development of technologies. So this was at the beginning of the 70s. From that time, we started to build what we call the ecosystem. And this ecosystem, you cannot build in one day. It's a continuous effort. It's not something that you have a recipe for that. But each time when you see that there is a need in the market, and the government can help, the government can intervene, it should do it. So that's how we did it, and we started in the 70s first with uh, funding companies by the government, simply giving grants to companies in a way that we want, wanted to encourage companies to take this and to do more uh, research and development. Uh, after that, when we saw that uh, there, are, there is not enough help and capital for small companies, we started the move of venture okay, funds as we just described, as just uh, described now. So let me just tell a few uh, elements for uh, this success that I think would be general elements. First, of all, first I think, which is very important, is uh, the government commitment. It should be a long-term commitment stable and continuous. You cannot change policy uh, day after day and you have to be clear for the public and for the community that you are dealing with that you have a mission and you want to achieve it. You have a policy which is very clear and you are going to support it. So this is one thing. The other one is of course to encourage entrepreneurship. In all ways that means that you can do it but most important is the education or the leadership. And I mean by that to say that you have to encourage people to take risks. You have to see that failures is not something which cannot be afforded. And also to give the people the feeling that they must, must win, must be competitive. And uh, I think in, in Israel there is a very strong entrepreneurial spirit, as I just described. <clears throat> there is also a role for the government to do, together with the private uh, sector, things together. Uh, but when you do it, you must remember that each of this uh, sector has its own role. The government is the 
there to encourage, the government is there to catalyze processes, the government is there to take risk together with the private sector, but the government is there not to manage companies and not to, uh, to waste money. This is what the private sector can do. So the combination between what government can do together with the private sector is very important as far as each side deserve its uh, power and, and its abilities. Another factor which is very important is uh, to create success stories. We were lucky to have a few success stories at the very beginning of the venture capital in France. Uh, some companies went uh, public in the uh, Nasdaq Stock Exchange, some companies were acquired by the big American companies. That creates kind of a snowball.